It is so crispy and so delicious. Delicious. It's so crispy and delicious. Hey y'all, cornbread is a foundational Southern staple, but you may have never had cornbread like this. Here's my family's recipe for lacy cornbread. This is not cornbread as you probably imagine it in your head. The thick golden brown, very savory, cake-like, bread-like cornbread that you know and love. This is very thin, crispy, crunchy, lacy cornbread. You can call it a lot of different names. You can call it lacy cornbread. You can call it hoe cakes. You can call it hot water cornbread. This goes by a lot of names. It is a staple on my family's Thanksgiving table. We have opened up our doors so the fried food smell does not linger in my house. Second step, heating up oil in a cast iron skillet. I'm heating up about three quarters cup of vegetable oil in a 10 inch cast iron skillet. We have self-rising cornmeal mix and then you're gonna need some salt and some hot tap water, which I will fill up that in a second. And that is it. Cornmeal, salt, hot water, fried in the oil. It cannot get any easier than this. Really the hardest part is making sure that it is the right consistency of batter. You want it to be super, super thin. So as soon as you pour it into the hot grease, it laces around the edge. The, the thin batter going into that hot oil is what causes it to be super lacy. It is so crispy and delicious. Perfect accompaniment to every single bite of Thanksgiving food. I cannot wait for y'all to try this. A cup of the self-rising cornmeal mix, half a teaspoon of salt, and three quarters cup of that hot tap water. You just whisk it right up. This is it, this is the consistency. It's like really, really loose grits. So my oil is hot, my batter is mixed, and now all I have to do is ladle my really wet batter into this hot oil. The edges will lace around the sides and the middle will kind of stay put together almost like a pancake. You can see how the edges are really, really lacy and the oil just kind of bubbles up and fries the whole thing through. It's so crispy and delicious. Once it's nice and evenly golden brown, you can transfer it to a paper towel lined plate and keep frying. Now for your Thanksgiving spread, once you get all of your plate made, you get a big pile of these lacy cornbread, hoe cakes, hot water cornbread, whatever you wanna call them, and you put them in the middle of the table so people can just keep going back for more because you basically just eat it like a chip and eat it with every single bite of food that you can consume on your Thanksgiving plate. It is a great vessel for scooping up collard greens, turkey, dressing, mac and cheese, sweet potatoes, you name it. Put it on a little bite of your lacy cornbread. Mm, it adds the perfect chef's kiss amount of crunch. My Thanksgiving perfect bite would be to get the lacy cornbread, like so. Get some of the dressing, just a little bit though, because you're gonna eat all of this in one bite. Put it right there on your lacy cornbread. Some greens, whatever the variety may be that of the day. These are turnip greens. I love a collard green. Now on my greens, I also like to eat them with this like onion relish stuff. So I like to put a little bit of that on there. And then let's, why not? Just mac and cheese, literally the whole thing, your whole Thanksgiving plate, just like that, kind of on one good, bite of this lacy cornbread. Like you could even get some cranberry sauce on there for color because it's really pretty. And like, I love cranberry sauce, don't at me. Look at that, it's like Thanksgiving on a bite of lacy cornbread. Mm. I'm telling you right now, if you have never experienced Thanksgiving with lacy cornbread, your life is about to be changed because every single bite will have a crispy crunchy factor. That is just so delicious, so tasty, 
It's so mouth-watering. You're gonna wonder why the heck you've eaten yeast rolls your entire life. That's the end of this video. It was super short and sweet because the recipe also super short and sweet and I really hope that you make lacy cornbread at home. If you do, be sure to take a picture, tag me, at Ivy Odom and at Southern Living Mag on Instagram. Happy Thanksgiving. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to sh subscribe to share. To subscribe and share. And if you're watching on YouTube, click the bell so you never miss an episode of Hey Y'all. Happy Turkey Day.